Hi, I'm Clark Judge from CBSSports.com, and I'm here at Lehigh University, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'll be honest, for the life of me, I'm having trouble figuring out what to make of this year's Eagles because of all the off-season changes they've made. That's why I brought in our rapid reporter and a good friend of mine, Kevin Noonan, to help me figure this out. Now, Kevin, obviously the biggest change at quarterback. You change the experience of Donovan McNabb, and you take on the inexperience of Kevin Cobb. Good move? Uh, certainly at this stage of the game it is because it was just time for a change. You know, Donovan McNabb did a lot of great things here. He'll go down as the greatest quarterback in franchise history, but he never won a Super Bowl. And the coaches obviously felt, and, and the front office too, that it, it was simply time for a change. Well, Cobb has only two NFL starts, and that can be a concern, except you look at what he's done. He's waited for three years. And I go back to San Diego. Phillip Rivers waited for a couple of seasons. Aaron Rodgers waited for three seasons in Green Bay. Tell me why. Kevin Cobb can't become the Aaron Rodgers or Phillip Rivers of 2010. Well, obviously for the Eagles, that's what this is all about. They're convinced that he's ready. He's been groomed behind Donovan McNabb. He knows the system. And that's, that's what the Eagles are really looking for. They look at the success that those guys have had, and they figure that Kevin Cobb's going to do the same thing for them. Now, when I look at inexperienced quarterbacks, I like people to help them shoulder the load. And LaShawn McCoy can certainly do that behind him. But behind LaShawn McCoy, I really worry about the depth at running back. Is that is that? Accurate? Oh, certainly. There's not much depth there, but in the end, you know, Leonard Weaver, their fullback, made the Pro Bowl last year, and he's going to be a lot more involved in the offense. He's a lot better player offensively than I think they thought originally when they got him. So he'll be involved more, but ultimately, this is a passing team, and the, the success of this team is going to depend on Kevin Cobb and the wide receivers. Okay, how about center position? Jamal Jackson's not here. Andy Reid says, don't worry about it. Not a position of concern. Do you agree? Oh, not at all. I think it's a, a big area of concern. If you look at the skill positions, this is the most talented group Andy Reid has had since he's been here right. but the guys up front there's some inexperienced guys they're guys that are banged up and you know they don't have the cohesion yet so uh, definitely that is the big concern on offense right now one last thing here Sean McDermott has a year under his belt as defense coordinator thought he struggled a little bit down the stretch last year but having that year's offseason should help plus they've got a lot of new players in here to help beef up the defense that was obviously their offseason priority to add to the defense they got some good young players in here and they expect things to be a lot different this year plus Stuart Bradley's back too now tell me bottom line here where do you see this team figuring in the NFC East? I see them right now finishing second behind Dallas. Dallas is still the best team in the division, but I, with the moves the Eagles have made and the experience they still have, you know, they did go to the playoffs last year, so I still think that they'll finish behind Dallas and ahead of the Giants in Washington. Yeah, I'm with you. Somewhere between second and third, maybe second, but I think somewhere behind Dallas. That's a new experience for the Eagles because usually at this time, they're the pick to win the division. Reporting from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Lehigh University, for Kevin Noonan, I'm Clark Judge for CBSSports.com.